So I thought to myself, well, grade A sounds like that would be better maple syrup. Grade A so is why better. Why get crappy maple syrup? You know what that means? It's grade B is Aunt what? Jemima. <laughs> Hi everyone, today we're making pancakes and right now it's dinner time so Kat and I are going to have pancakes for dinner. So I think we've all had breakfast for dinner at one point or another and we're going to make Bobby Flay's carrot cake pancakes so it's going to be extra special. We've got flour and sugar, your basic stuff, and see if I can remember all this, baking powder, baking soda, salt, well he wrote sea salt, and some pumpkin spice which I love. Done. Okay, so now time for the wet part. We're gonna need a cup and a half of buttercream. Buttermilk. Kat, you know you can make your own buttermilk at home? Cause some people forget to pick up that one item. So I've done it before. You just get like your fattiest milk that you have and I have used 2% before. And you make it room temperature and then you squeeze like a little bit of lemon juice and it curdles and it's instant buttermilk. So good tip of the day. Okay, that's we give me two large eggs, melted butter, a little vanilla extract. Okay, and then for the star of the show, you can't go wrong with adding carrots. And then we're gonna add in just a little orange zest. Okay, so now we're going to add the dry ingredients into our wet ingredients. Is it that order? Okay, so you're doing it the way he said. You're adding the wet to your dry. Yes. I'm gonna add my dry to my wet because I like to do it in two batches. I like to fold it in and then I like to add the rest of it and it folds in easier and it doesn't clump. Yeah. That's Aina, Aina does that. So fancy. Me and Bobby Flay could hang. <laughs> Just get it done. <laughs> I've actually been to, I think, three different uh, uh, restaurants of his from like, I think I went to one in Vegas and then I went to a couple in New York. Ugh, back in the day when I used to travel and <laughs> go out to eat. <laughs> um, but I've had a fantastic meal every time. He always like, even oh. if you order like something common, but the flavor is like next level. I like there's that something mm -hmm. in it that's like extra good. So I'm a big fan. This is why he has that show, Beat Bobby Flay, right? Where yeah. you take your best recipe and he's still gonna beat you because he knows how to like jazz it up. The next step is he wants you to add in some crystallized ginger. So Gina, I don't know if you noticed this, so I found his recipe in two places and they both had different measurements for that ginger. So I think in People Magazine it said a quarter cup. That's what I did. But if you go on Food Network, uh -huh. it said a tablespoon. Oh, <gasps> that's, that's a big difference. difference. Yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh. But man. I'm not adding any to mine just because I'm not a fan of ginger. So I think you're gonna add it. So you let me know. This is candied ginger. Ooh. Um. Mm, I don't know. I'm just gonna put some in. I don't know how much I'm putting in. I'm not gonna do the whole quarter cup. Well, I don't know. This could be like the magic though, so I don't want to like miss out on the magic because it won't be anything special if you make things the way you normally make it, but it's a lot of ginger. <laughs> I did it. I did it. It's going to be great. Gina, I love cooking with you because you're always fighting with your inner <laughs> self. It's like, do it, I don't do it. It's really fun to watch. I forget to be embarrassed. All the way. Last step is that he wants us to cover it and put it in the fridge for 30 minutes just to let it rest. I'm curious to see what the science is behind that. Does it get fluffier? All right, let's get fluffy. Let's go rest. Okay, so now we're going to make the maple syrup cream cheese glaze that we're supposed to put on top of the pancakes, which I told Gina, I go, that's kind of fancy because I just like me some Aunt Jemima and I think you agree, right? Yes, I'm an Aunt Jemima <laughs> girl. I grew up on it, it's just what I'm used to. Okay, so four sticks of butter. Four tablespoons. Um, and a stick of cream cheese. Okay, I'm gonna have to estimate. I don't think it'll matter. That's a lot. You know what else is a lot? What? A whole half cup of maple syrup. That's a lot. 
So in this recipe, he said maple syrup grade B. Oh, not but grade A. But I could only find grade A. So I thought to myself, well, grade A sounds like that would be better maple syrup. Grade so why A don't you is tell us better. Get maple syrup. You know what that means? It's grade B is what? Aunt Jemima. <laughs> I feel like it could be sweeter. What do you think? I have too much cream cheese. But it's supposed to go yeah. with the carrot cake pancake, so I don't I think it's too early to judge. I mean the worst case is you pour some more maple syrup, right? Now I wonder if it's expired. It's been that long. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you didn't use real maple syrup? You use Aunt Jemima? <gasps> yes, weren't we just talking about how we both like Aunt Jemima? Yeah, well, who got the candy, <laughs> Ginger? <laughs> so, a quarter cup for each of our pancakes. Okay, I have in front of me lots of pancakes and they smell delicious. But Kat, we can't forget our... Um, yes. What is this? A with toppings? I'm curious to see how it is with the yeah. okay. cake. Cake. Let's have some. All right. <laughs> okay. It is not a cake. I would say this is a pancake. So, oh, so remember I put the, a quarter mm. cup of the candy mm. ginger in it. No regrets. I think, unless I just didn't hit that bite that had a ton of it in there, so mixed well. But I feel like um, I don't taste strong ginger in it, so I think that it's a good thing to add to add, give it more flavor. Otherwise, I feel like it is a little bit dull in flavor. So I'm kind of confused on what I was expecting. Mm -hmm. Like carrot cake is sweet cake, but the pancake isn't terribly sweet. It's good. I'm almost knocking it down a point because it doesn't have like a stronger sweet flavor and maybe it's because I was just expecting it. I thought it was going to be a little bit more powerful but maybe that's the way it's supposed to be because we're putting the glaze on and if it's not sweet enough you technically could add a little bit more maple syrup to it so I like the texture though it's thick but kind of bouncy. Was it worth making this from scratch? The batter I think was okay even like once I got past the shredding of the carrot I think it was okay like I think I would make the batter again but I did feel that this was where I felt like it was extra work and it does go with this but I think I might be okay with just like using whipped cream and maple okay, syrup. Okay so, well, so while you were talking <laughs> I added a big dollop of maple syrup on top and it is way better. We should do it. I don't know. What if it was like a brunch for your mother-in-law? Is it worth mm. it then? Yes. You're right. This is a special brunch recipe. This is an everyday recipe. All right, guys, thanks for joining us this week. We had fun making breakfast for dinner, just something different, just to spice up the menu at home. And we're really big fans of Bobby Flay, so this was kind of fun to do one of his brunch recipes. Make sure you subscribe, and we will see you guys next week for another fun surprise. So, bye, friends.